and certainly no one to continue after death. What are the implications for free will? Oh, tremendous. Because on this view, there can't be free will in the traditional sense. I mean, free will is all bound up with self. Free will, as most people would have it, is something like I can for no reason at all, not because of, you know, things in my brain or anything else, choose what I want and it's my responsibility. That can't be so when you see how the brain works and how all the information flows through the brain and so on. So let's give up on it. Now, I've taught myself over most of my life because I stopped believing intellectually in free will, you know, as a teenager, really, but then struggled with it. Well, how can you live your life without it? But actually you can. It's really something like telling a different story, telling a story of, well, this person here just does things because of the reasons that are, are there and trusting that actually human nature is not bad, particularly human nature brought up in a civilized way, educated, inquiring, taught by others to be kind and encouraged to, to play your part in society. It's all right. You can let go of free will. But in terms of how I feel phenomenologically, I think I have free will. I know, and I don't and, anymore. It goes and, away. And, and it what, goes away. When you really battle with it, it goes away. It's gone away now. <laughs> I don't get it anymore. <laughs> I still do get a strong sense of self. That's not gone away. I still get the sense of somebody in here. I Intellectually, I think it's an illusion. Psychologically, emotionally, I still feel that I exist. But, what is, what but is free the, will I don't get caught by. What is the core uh, physiological analysis to, to get rid of free will? That there are multiple things happening all the time. Most of them are not what we would ordinarily call conscious. Lots of them happen very quickly. Others happen very slowly without us being able to know what's going on. These are as much part of us as the tinsy little scrap that we hang on to as being my ideas, my decisions. My... And that... it's all of these things working together in some incredible parallel pathways simultaneously that, that, make that engender being. the the action or the thoughts or the behavior. Yeah. Exactly. And that's how we see it when we look in a brain and understand what's happening. So I'd rather live my life accepting that as the truth to, 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 to be the basis of my life.